guesses. Three guesses. So, you're in a really good interaction with a girl. You're having this phenomenal chat with your dream woman. It's going great. And then out of nowhere, she asks you, so, how old are you? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to better answer the question, how old are you? I'm David Thorpe, dating coach here in Sydney, Australia. Let's get to it. Okay, so the age question is something that most of us dread as men. Um, we don't really wanna be asked it. We just wanna have this nice conversation, get the phone number and go on a date. But you are gonna get asked this question a lot if you are in this interaction with the girl. And there's two techniques that I use to answer this question. I'm gonna demonstrate one of them in an infield uh, clip that you're gonna see shortly. Um, but before we get to those two techniques, What's going on here? Why is she asking this question? And actually, it's a great sign. Um, she is interested and you're being screened uh, for suitability for future dating. Um, so it's actually a really, really good sign, um, even though it might not feel very nice. And what's going on here is the more interested she is in you, the greater range of age she is willing to accept, okay? Um, and so if, say, she's super interested, right? And she likes guys who are in their 30s, 40s and 50s, and you're 25, 26. You're not meeting that requirement, but if she's super interested, super keen, she is gonna make allowances um, and kind of bypass her own rules to let you through the door to continue the conversation. If she is really high value, she's got loads of options with guys, um, she's very confident, maybe even a bit arrogant as well, um, yeah, loads and loads of dating options. She could be very, very picky about her uh, age range and I've definitely come across these kind of women where they only date men in their late 30s because they're the mature ones. And so if you come in at a different age, like early 20s or late 50s or 60s, that age isn't gonna compute, okay? So she's not gonna be interested. Um, there's not much we can do about that. Um, and I have to say, most women I've come across don't generally behave like that. They do have an acceptable range that they're looking for. Um, but there is quite a bit of flexibility in that, depending on how you're coming across, your appearance, your confidence, the kind of lifestyle you lead. Um, and in some cases, the age range just massively opens up to the point that there's not much uh, point asking the question from her side. But yeah, there's two things that we can do to answer this question. Again, making it a bit more fun, not just answering plainly like, oh, I'm 34, just giving, giving her a bit of a game um, and, and just being a bit of a challenge, a bit of a tease. So the first technique is playing the age game uh, and we're gonna go to the infield now and you're gonna see me um, demonstrate this when I get asked how old I am. How old do you think I am? Um, no, I hate this. Yes. It's so hard. Um, three guesses. Three guesses? Can I ask a few questions? Like how long have you been working? Well, that's just gonna be obvious then, isn't it? Because then you're just gonna assume that I finished yeah. university at 21 and then okay, sure. you're busted, so. Um, I would say around the age of that's two guesses, three guesses. <laughs> Late 20s, 30. No. What do you think? I'm 34. 34? Oh, okay. Yeah. But I think I've had an easy life, maybe. I don't smoke, I do drink, but yeah. I don't know, we've all had our stress, but it doesn't really show on me, so. Yeah, but. So oh, we're not going to play that game. <laughs> <laughs> but I had to. My father says uh, you should never guess a woman's age. Honestly, I wouldn't be offended. Even if you say 40, like, oh. No. Well, face wise, I think it's about 24, 25, that's what I'd say. 25, okay, so I'm pretty bang on. Okay, so as you saw there, with the age game, um, I'm turning it into a game. So I'm bouncing that question straight back onto her, onto her, how old do you think I am? You've got three guesses and you get them all wrong, you have to buy me a drink or we have to go somewhere. Um, generally the drink is a good one. Um, and then this starts this whole little game. Um, I haven't really had any women not play along with it. Um, it's just a bit of fun. Um, and so you've got these three guesses and they'll be trying to tease you and get more information out. And if they get it right, then be truthful about it, okay? Um, so yeah, yeah, I am 28. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't generally give her any hints or tips. Let's just go through those three little tasks. You can do this face to face, you can do this over text, you can do this over internet dating. Um, it's just a little bit of fun. And if she doesn't get it right, quite a good chance of that, unless she's really perceptive. Um, you've then set this little uh, test up that she has to buy you a drink and it can be a great way to go to the bar or to arrange that date. The second technique that you can do uh, for the age question is a verbal push. 
Uh, this is a bit more risky than the age game. If you really want to throw some petrol on the flames, then this is definitely the way to do it. And what you say is, uh, she's too old for you, or you're too old for her, uh, or she's too young, or um, you're too young for her. And if you are at one end of the spectrum, either you're in your 50s or 60s, or you're an 18 year old guy, if you're at either end of the spectrum, saying, say, when you say you're a really young guy, that uh, you think that she's too young for you or that um, you're too old for her, like the, the inverse. Um, yeah, if you're a, an old guy and, um, and you're saying to her that you think that um, she's, she's too old for you or that you're too young for her, even though you might be in your 60s, again, the, that inverse, then it's going to be quite explosive and she's just going to get this real reaction um, on her side and then want to engage with you a bit more, good or bad. Um, but she's certainly going to remember you. Okay, so there's your two techniques. And generally for me, I've always played the age game. Uh, something I learned in the early days of, of trying to sort out my dating life. It's been a lot of fun since when I get asked my age, just go straight to the age game. Uh, I was actually out in a nightclub here in Sydney, uh, not so long ago in a place called the Argyle. And um, two girls in their early 20s came up to me and we started talking. Of course, they asked me the age game. Uh, got them to play the game, they guessed wrong, and uh, I'd set up that test that they needed to buy me a drink, and, and off they went. <laughs> and brought two shots of vodka back, which I, uh, which I did drink, and then later I found out they were on minimum wage and probably couldn't have afforded that. So uh, yeah, anyway, lots of fun. Um, but yeah, I definitely don't, uh, try the age game, and if you want to be a bit cheeky, then do the, uh, do the verbal push. Uh, but that's it for today. If you got some value out of this video, then please do hit the like button comment away. Um, I want to hear your thoughts on playing the age game or being a bit cheeky with a push. Have you talked to a woman who was really old and she had the nerve to ask you about your age or vice versa? Let's hear those uh, age game questions. And if you like these type of videos, then please do subscribe to the channel. I've got lots more on the way. I'm talking about my army experience and how that helped with my confidence. Um, some adventures, challenges, more interviews. Um, yeah, lots, lots more good content on the way. So um, yeah, sit back and enjoy. Finally, uh, I just want to say that I'm running a 50% off my approaching service at the moment. It's a promotion. So for the first five guys uh, that click the link below and register, you're going to get 50% off my three hour approaching service. So it's just you and me here in Sydney after work one evening or on the weekend. And we're going to be throwing you into as many approaches as possible. No experience is needed. Uh, if you do have some experience, then that's great, but no experience is needed. We'll go out with uh, my camera lady, Livia, and um, yeah, film you in action. Uh, the footage is yours, not for YouTube. And yeah, we'll, uh, we'll be wearing microphones so I can hear what you're saying. Just providing that coaching that you're gonna need to just get you along your way. It's something that I needed uh, back in 2013 and I went along, changed my life, okay? Uh, and I'm now living with my dream woman and I've had a fantastic single life. Uh, so if internet dating isn't working out for you, you're just frustrated with the whole dating scene, then definitely give this a go. Um, because yeah, it, it can change your life and just imagine having a conversation with a woman that you really want to speak to and she's loving it. And then you get that number. I mean, what a result that would be. Um, and then we'll go and have a drink afterwards and celebrate. So click the link below and register your interest. But from a hot and warm, sunny Sydney, it's David Thorpe signing off.